welcome back to shivkumar classes the topic which i am covering now is issue of shares yes already i have uploaded one video relating to this issue of shares in a lengthy video because to know the information how to pause the journal entries so those who are very new to seeing of this problem you need to see that previous explanation from the description box i have provided the link now the second problem which i am doing it is for the practice purpose so that all the journal entries will be written into the journal entries format already only how to write this amount let me explain in this come let us see the problem mahalakshmi company limited issued 12000 shares if they say only shares means it is the equity shares of rupees 100 each at a premium of rupees 5 each it means that overall 100 plus 5 is equals 105 will be collected from the public on application rupees 30 on allotment rupees 55 including premium it means that out of 55 rupees 5 rupees is premium therefore 50 rupees on share that is the meaning we have to split and write out of 55 50 plus 5 this 50 rupees will go to the share capital and 5 rupees will go to the securities premium and third one is on first and final call rupees 20 next all the money duly received except 2000 shares on first and final call the directors forfeited these shares and it is reissued for rupees 90 it means that whenever the shares are it is reissued we should see in a such a manner that the cost of the share it is 100 rupees and after forfeited it is sold for rupees 90 rupees that remaining 10 rupees is the loss this loss will be adjusted from the forfeited share and this entry will appear into our journal entry number 8 yes now let us do the problems on passing up journal entries yes the very first journal entry on application money <coughs> received bank account debit to share application account the company has issued 12000 shares and the application money which i have written for our understanding purpose it is 30 Twelve three is a thirty six three lakh sixty thousand. The same three lakh sixty thousand will appear for the application money transfer. Now coming to share allotment. Share allotment it is fifty five. I return it is for understanding purpose. Now we have to split it that one. Share allotment is fifty five rupees. Out of fifty five rupees. share first call sorry share capital it is 50 rupees and securities premium it is 5 rupees now what we have to do multiply this 12000 into 55 12000 into 50 12000 into 5 12 is a 60 securities premium 60000 Again, twelve five is a sixty six lakh, and six lakh plus sixty thousand total it will be six lakh sixty thousand. So on allotment, six lakh sixty thousand is due. So journal entry share allotment account debit to share capital account to securities premium account. Now we need to pass journal entry for allotment money received. So the amount will appear is six lakh sixty thousand because due amount is six lakh sixty thousand. And next coming to first and final call money due on twelve thousand shares twenty twelve to the twenty four. So twenty four followed by one two three four two lakh forty thousand. Yes, this is due. But the amount which has been received is not for all the twelve thousand shares, 
on first and final call they did not receive money for 2000 shares so it means that they received money for 10000 shares 12000 minus 2000 is equals 10000 so 10000 into 20 you get an amount of 2 lakhs rupees so now you can check it over <coughs> due is 2 lakh 40000 but received is 2 lakhs 40000 amount did not received so that they will give certain period of time to the shareholders if they are not paid within the particular period of time their shares will be cancelled that cancellation only we call it as the forfeited of the shares now we are going to pause the journal entry for the forfeited of share at that time we have to pause the journal entry for cancelled share how many shares are it is cancelled 2000 shares you listen very carefully this 2000 i will mention it is in six different places you see that 2000 and again 2000 3 it is into the seventh journal entry and 3 it is into the eighth journal entry eighth journal entries now in these six places we are going to pass it for relating to these 2000 shares even the last one also relating to this 2000 but we will show the calculation directly now this seventh journal entry is the opposite of the fifth journal entry reverse of the fifth journal entry because in fifth journal entry only due is there <coughs> that amount only it is cancelled what it is there we are going to show it now 2000 into cost of one share it is 100 you shouldn't take the 105 rupees for that separate calculation is there not for this problem 2000 into 100 is the share capital and share first and final call it is 20 rupees so what is this forfeited share means that once the share it is cancelled that amount will not be returned what has been collected already out of 100 rupees 20 rupees is the first and final call money hasn't received therefore 80 rupees what has been received already that will not be returned back by the company that is only this forfeited share when if it is not returned that money to the public it is entirely income to the company 1,60,000 that is the third journal entry the second journal entry you see first and final call 2000 into 20 is there 40,000 have you heard about this 40,000 already which I mentioned there into 6th journal entry you see that 5th and 6th journal entry you are supposed to receive the 2,40,000 but it has been received 2 lakh how much is the difference 40,000 that 40,000 only is the share first and final call money hasn't received therefore the very first journal entry share capital account should be 2 lakhs into sorry 2000 into 100 it is 2 lakhs now what is the inner meaning of this share capital worth of 2000 shares is 2 lakhs out of 2 lakhs rupees 40,000 is not received so that 1,60,000 which has been received already will not be returned back that's it now coming to another journal entry reissue this shares has been cancelled and reissued 2000 shares has been sold at the rate of 90 rupees just you only imagine it over the cost of one share it is 100 but it has been sold for how much 90 rupees what is the shortage of amount 10 rupees is the shortage that is out of 100 rupees it has been sold for 90 rupees therefore loss of 10 rupees that loss will be adjusted from the my benefit of 1,60,000 that is the meaning now 2,000 into 92 nines are 18 1 lakh 80,000 it means that 2 lakhs worth of the share has been sold for 1 lakh 80,000 therefore we get the shortage of 20,000 we will see that when you see 2,000 into 10 is equals 20,000 and 2,000 into 100 you get 2 lakhs in all the cases the total of debit and credit you multiply that in all the cases you get the amount is same and what is this lost journal entry the forfeited share has to be transferred to capital reserve the forfeited share has to be transferred to capital reserve that is the reason first line is forfeited share account debit and second line is the capital reserve for this one simple calculation is there just the very first forfeited share if you see that 1,60,000 and the second forfeited share it is 20,000 so out of 1,60,000 minus this 20,000 so that the remaining balance is I'll write here 1,60,000 minus 20,000 you get 
one lakh forty thousand. It means that the company got benefited rupees one lakh forty thousand after cancellation of the shares because benefit is one lakh sixty thousand. Loss is twenty thousand. One lakh sixty minus twenty is the one lakh forty thousand. This amount is transferred to capital reserve. That's it about this problem. Thank you very much.